Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a line marker that's a flag. So this is an example of where we have uh, GDP per capita of the BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India, and China. And the last plotted uh, point is actually the flag of the country. So it's actually a fairly simple process to create this visual where you have the flags uh, represented for each line. So let's go ahead and copy this data. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this data. Uh, this the source of this data is from the WorldBank.org uh, website. So I'll go ahead and just Control C to copy. Select it. Control C to copy. Go into a, a new sheet, and then Control V to paste. Uh, this is a little bit smaller. Let me go ahead and increase the size here. Maybe 110 is good. And all I need to do here is uh, I'm just going to go and select anywhere in this table and go to Insert and go to the Charts group, and I'm going to select a 2D line with markers. Now you can see that um, it hasn't really uh, charted it out correctly, but I can change that. So what I'm going to do is make some changes here. And uh, this is this is supposed to be the year. And it, C didn't really pick it up well. So, I, But I can go ahead and just select the data, go under Design, the chart selected, go under Design, in the Chart Tools context menu, select Data. And here for the horizontal category, I want to pick the year. So select from 2000-2014. Click OK. And let me go ahead and click OK here. It's also picked up the, uh, I guess, this part here. So I'm going to select that. Sometimes uh, these things happen where you, when you select the table, Excel is pretty smart enough to realize that I shouldn't pick that, but it did. So one thing I can actually do, let me cancel this. I'm going to delete this one, is add an extra, either just select this here, or I can just have added an extra line, blank line. Um, sometimes Excel doesn't pick it up well. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this range, go under Insert, and insert the line chart again. And you can see it's kind of picked it up without um, without the uh, this text here. But now I need to go ahead and change the horizontal category. So I'm going to select that and just pick it again. Let me go ahead and select my, my range for my horizontal category. Click OK, click OK. And now we have that kind of uh, done correctly. It also picked up the year. It added the year as um, as part of one of series. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And select data, and for year, I'm going to select remove. So I just want to have my brick countries: Brazil, Russia, India, and China. Click OK, and now I pretty much have that there. So the part where I want to get the last point in there to have a picture is where I need to select each individual marker, or I just select the markers and delete them. So I select the markers and I can right click and go under Format Data Series. And my Format Data Series navigation pane shows up. What I want to do is get into this fill in line and under the marker I want to remove it. I want to select, say none. And I'm just going to do that for everything here. And select this marker here, select none, this marker, select none, and the India marker here, select none. And after that I want to select the last marker of each line and introduce a new marker. So I'm going to go ahead and select that line. You see the markers are selected. I'm going to select, click it again, and the last one is selected. I'm going to choose the built-in, and you can select from different shape types. I like the circle one because it represents it best. And the size, usually, I kind of might, you have to adjust it accordingly to your own individual uh, chart size. But uh, for this example, I'll go to size 14, maybe 15 would be okay. And after that is selected, I want to change the fill. So this one is for Russia. So I'm going to look for a picture. So basically, you we would have assumed that I've downloaded a picture from somewhere. Uh, this, could not, this could be a picture of a flag. It could be the picture of the leader of the country, the president. In this case, it's Russia, so that'd be Putin. But I'm going to go ahead and select the picture of the flag. So I've already downloaded pictures of the flag, so I'm just going to select that. And it's going to ask me to where I'm going to find it from. So I'll go ahead and select File. And it, this is for Russia. The Russia is the gray one, so Russia's flag is this color. So I'll click Insert. And now you see Russia's flag has been inserted. I'll go to do the same thing for uh, this orange line, which is Brazil. Once I selected the uh, marker here, you see they're all selected. I'll have to click it again to select just that last marker. Go ahead and go back up here to built in. I'm going to select the circle again and change that size to 14. 
and then add a fill, which is the picture. And since this is Brazil, I'm going to find the uh, Brazilian flag, which is uh, this flag here. Click Insert, and now I have the Brazilian flag. So I'll just do the remaining two flags, but I'll go ahead and speed up the video, and you can see how it's done in a more quicker speed. So if I finish adding the flags here, so the rest of it is kind of just uh, some formatting of the chart to make it look a little bit nicer. I'm going to get rid of these uh, grid lines here. Select the grid line there, press delete. And maybe for my chart title, let me move this back here. Maybe for my chart title, I want to take it from here. So I'll, I click on the chart title, and I go to the formula bar, press equals, and I'm just going to reference a cell. Click on the cell, it'll reference it to sheet A1. And once I press enter, the text from this particular cell becomes the title here. So GD per capita here and so I can just uh, change and make it maybe make it a little bit bigger and in this instance if I don't want the grid lines here like I didn't have on the other sheet here I can go under uh, view and then click uncheck the grid lines and then it will disappear here so this is something that you can do and uh, makes it more appealing the chart when you have uh, these lines and then maybe a marker here to indicate a flag for the country or maybe an image of somebody that represents the country now um, when you have a lot of lines maybe it's not a good idea to do it because these lines will basically clobber each other but when you have a few lines a few a series of data. Uh, this makes your chart a little bit more visually appealing because we have uh, some indicators or visual indicators uh, for these lines. So that's how we can make a flag as a marker for our line, our line chart. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.